Welcome back. There seems to be a uh, raise fees wind blowing across Nigerian universities right now. Uh, the latest one being the Obafemi Aulawa University Ife. And arising from the fees hike, the school has been shut down because students, of course, resisted the increase in fees. Um, to discuss this with us this morning, we have uh, the union president, the students' union president, Mr. I Mr. Isaac Ibikunle. Good morning. Good morning, man. And we also have the PRO of the students' union, Mr. Oludari Bamedele. Good morning. Good morning, and thank you for coming on Sunrise. Now, let me begin with you, sir, Mr. Students' Union President. Uh, do you happen to know why the authorities decided to increase the fees? Yes, we inquired when the school fees was announced. Mm -hmm. We had discussion with them, yep. and they gave some reasons, okay. which were not justified. One. That education is underfunded. Okay that the cost of um, running the school is high now. Yes. Then we also came up with some counter arguments too. One, last year six, we used six months at home, as to federal government crisis. And about seven billion was a mark for a 2013. Where is the money? And even if the money is not in the system yet, why not wait for it? You've been, you've been managing the affairs of the varsity for the past three years or several years back, you've not increased. Why now that even we have substantial amount devoted for development? You charge developmental levy of 25,000. And yet, the federal government crisis, federal government asset crisis, was because of ejecting developmental fund into varsity and education generally. Why in a rush? Now, we have here that uh, the freshers uh, Freshers fees were increased from 37,150 and 42,150 to 82,400 and 92,700, depending on their faculty. That's more than 100%. About 300% um, increment. Article. Mm -hmm. But Ooh. are they expecting that the current crop of students will be paying the amount that's being stipulated, the increase? Actually, when the fees were announced, it was just like two weeks into reception. These students have been granted admission for several months back. Now, just increasing at a go, even without informing them before, just two weeks before now, reception. When you say that they increased, did they increase it in a way that means it's retrospective? What you are being charged mm -hmm. now is what you pay immediately, or it's expected to be paid next term or next year? Immediately. So they and came in knowing this is how much they will be paying, but suddenly that has changed. Hmm. Yes. When we were offered admission several months ago, they believed they would be pay paying just 19000 yeah. mm -hmm. Now that they're just about coming to the system, mm -hmm. the fee were increased. Okay. That was where we set it. Okay. What about the students who are already in, people like you who are already there? Does this also affect you? Yes, they increase our fees too. From? From about 10, 11,000, some are paying 12,000 naira to about 33,000 naira. What do you pay the 11,000 naira for? I what, don't get that. No, what is the 11,000 naira that is being increased? What they is, call it, what they do call it charges. For? They have the breakdown, they call it charges, not tuition fee. But even if you have There's no charges, tuition. No tuition. Okay. They call it charges. Or whether charges or tuition is a matter of semantics. But you, you stay in the hall of residence, um, um, Oludari. Do you pay for that? Yes. Is that separate? Yes. That is a separate payment on its own because um, fresh students pay um, up to uh, 30,000, um, I mean 3,000 naira for their best places because we have two freshers, major freshers hostel, and the still students, that is the return on the graduates, pay about 2,000. Yeah. Okay, so the school has been shut down now. Um, what is the position right now? Are you all in dialogue? And, you know, what are we expecting? Actually, as it stands, when the school was shut down, we just some hours into the protest. Actually, some misinformation has been dished out to the public. Mm. And I think that's why we are here. Now, 
we protested just for some hours mm -hmm. on Wednesday last week. And the next thing was the school being shut down. And before now, when the school, when the school fee was increased there, and we stepped in to engage them, we initiated the consultation, the dialogue, being co constructive and progressive to the leaders. But they make more clear of the negotiation itself. For instance, asking students to continue to pay. Why we are dialoguing on this matter? Mm -hmm. Forcing students to pay, that if they don't pay, they are not going to be registered. Mm -hmm. Now, actually, when this, the, we now went on protest, even before going on the protest, during the dialogue, they made mention of the fact that if you go on protest, we are going to shut down the school. We pleaded then that it's not something about students should have their rights to protest. And this issue, we've initiated a negotiation. And eventually, when we protested, the school was shut down. We protested on Monday, also on Wednesday. We didn't protest on Tuesday because we knew that they may want to use the 72 hours policy. However, this is an, there was an, I mean, there is a particular misinformation mm -hmm. in the statement of shutting down the school. For instance, I would like to refer to the statement where it was, it was placed that the students protested for three consecutive days. Which was not the situation. Mm -hmm. We so protested. What, what is the situation now regarding negotiations? Actually, now, when the students met, we had a Congress when the school was shut down, and we resolved that if the management calls for negotiation, we are ready to honor it. But as it stands, instead of calling us for dialogue, negotiation, a lot of threats, of suspension, even of arrest, of trying to frame us up as courtists. Oh, there is no, nego no, 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 none has taken place whatsoever. No, no. Even the uh, senior special assistant to the president on um, student affairs, Judy Magu, has given the school, the VC, uh, some directive to report what's happening in OE and to address this matter. The, the ultimatum ended yesterday and nothing has been done. We've not been invited and we are expecting that. So you are still at home mm, in yes. the meantime. Okay. And only God knows for how long that's going to be. Are you willing to compromise? Is there any compromise on the table that if the, if the university yeah. authority will do this, we as a union body will, will, will meet you or match you at this point? Yes, we have, we, 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 we have, we have our grants for compromise. And these are one, we want to know why we need the increments. We believe we have funded the university. And that's not compromise. You are still demanding. Yes, but in terms yeah, of actually, compromise, actually, actually, what's... what the students are saying is not that we cannot increase fees. But what we are saying is let's know how much we have, how much we have spent. Let's see the books so that we'll be convinced. Even if you can tell our students that, okay, the school is broke, we'll be able to marshal this argument. But instead, the management is not ready to justify it. Okay, yeah. as we wrap up, then we really must wrap up now. Can you give us a figure? If they say 11,000 has now changed to whatever amount of money, what is the middle ground for you? Any number you can throw at us now? For now, we cannot throw out any number. Okay, until what we about you? To, we get to the table. Okay, what about you? Uh, that, that's just that's like, the position of that's the president. That's, that's our position Congress. Of the union. We always make yeah. I said there's something I would like okay. to mention. Okay. A lot of misinformation are in the statement of shutting down the school, which has informed the security agent to have some, another perception. Unlike when, when the, the security agent came on board, when we protested against the shutting down that for two days, even they thought maybe the school was burning and nothing like that happened. They said we wedded the, the uh, uh, Senate building. We did a lot of things which were not true. Okay. We, have the, we have the pictures as evidence. Okay. Okay. And we are All right. All right. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Uh, the Student Union President of the uh, Bafanya Ola University, Mr. Isaac Ibikunle, and the PRO, Mr. Oludare Bamideli. Thank you very much for coming on Sunrise. Sunrise will return in just one second with the home stretch. Okay, so close now. that's our package for yes. today. We'll bring you a fresh one next Saturday. I'm Alero Edu, wishing you a very happy weekend and uh, see you next month. Okay, yeah, indeed, next month. My name is Kadi Akinsemi. Hope you have a great weekend, and um, like Alero said, we'll see you next month. <laughs>